So we're in Revelation, Revelation 1, verse 4 today. And verse 4 is really packed with stuff. So I'm going to talk a little bit fast and play this a couple times and then really sit with this information. Look at it in your own Bible and let the Lord help you understand it. So to understand verse four, we really have to go one more time to verse one, where it says, and he, this is God, and he sent and signified it by his angel to his servant John, signified in signs. So the book of Revelation is seen in signs and symbols. Why is that important? Because we see right at the beginning of verse four, that there are seven churches which are in Asia and then seven spirits who are before his throne. Okay. The word, the number seven means completeness and perfection. In Greek, perfection doesn't mean necessarily flawless. It means the maturity of time. It means perfect in timing. And so the seven churches, which are in Asia, is the church. It's the complete picture of the church. It's the believers, okay? Now, the seven spirits who are before his throne, that is the completeness of the Holy Spirit. This is going to happen. These things are gonna happen at the completeness of time, at the completeness of the Holy Spirit, at the completeness of the church, okay? Now, the other thing we see in the midst of verse four is grace to you and peace from him, God, who is and who was and who is to come. We need to understand that way back in Exodus, Exodus chapter 3, 14, he says, I am that I am. It's not that God is currently living in the past, in the present, and in the future. It means he's doing all of that all at once. He does not live in time like you and I do. He is outside of time involved in his creation. So he can be in the past, in the present, and in the future all at once and at the same time. I know that that's hard for our human brains to comprehend, but I say it a lot. The moment we limit God to what our human minds can comprehend. That's when we've limited God, and there's entire faiths that do that. So take this, take verse 4, and sit with the Lord with it for a little bit. My friends, I love you, and God's got this.